The Udmurts are a Uralic people living in Udmurt Republic in Russia. Udmurt Republic is often considered to be a part of the Ural region, and a portion of Udmurtia is indeed situated on the western ridge of Ural Mountains. Before being incorporated into the Russian Tsardom and later Empire, the Udmurts were under the jurisdiction of Volga Bulgaria. Muslim influence in Udmurt culture is profound, even the word, hello, in Udmurt language is Salam, which is of Arab origin. Same is the story for the Mari language, although the Mari enjoyed more autonomy from the Tatars. The Basurmian are a group closely related to the Udmurt, living in northwestern Udmurtia. Basurmian and Udmurt languages are mutually intelligible. For this video, I gathered six Basurmian and eight Udmurt samples from Reichlab's Human Origins dataset. I ran them through QPAD mixture, according to which the Udmurt could be modeled as roughly half Baltic Bronze Age, quarter Ironic, and quarter Siberian. The Basurmian ended up being less Baltic, getting modeled as roughly a third Baltic Bronze Age, third Ironic, and third Siberian. Overall, it is clear that both Basurmian and Udmurts are majority Indo-European in origin. I also ran a Mesolithic model on both Udmurts and Basurmian, which showed that they are quite distinct from Europeans, having an elevated level of Eastern hunter-gatherer ancestry, significantly reduced levels of Anatolian Neolithic farmer ancestry, and of course the presence of 23 to 26 percent Siberian ancestry, which most Europeans lack completely. I ran these samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Due to low coverage in the Herc 2 region, I used Snipper 3 for eye color prediction. Udmurts are known online for their red hair, but human origin samples lack relevant data in the MC1R and IRF4 genes, so whether or not these samples had red hair cannot be determined from the data I am working with. The most common Y lineage among these samples is N1A1, but J lineage, R1A lineage, R1B lineage and I2 lineages are also present. The most common predicted phenotype for these samples is Volgid, but other phenotypes are present as well. The most common predicted eye color was blue, but blue was not the majority in this group, with only 6 out of 14 samples having blue eyes. The most common predicted hair color was dark brown, but keep in mind that if any of these samples had red hair in reality can't be determined due to lacking data. The most common predicted skin tone was white. The most common predicted hair texture was wavy, with one sample even scoring a kinky hair texture. The most common predicted nose shape was snub, and most samples had an average predisposition to male pattern baldness. The Udmurts had average odds of leukemia, and six samples carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JAK2 gene. Every sample had a predisposition to testicular cancer based on KITLG genotype, which is typical for Europeans. The Udmurts had a strong predisposition to autism, low empathy, high predisposition to depression, and low predisposition to bipolar type 1 and schizophrenia. The Udmurts had average predisposition to atrial fibrillation, average predisposition to various cardiovascular issues, and low predisposition to type 2 diabetes. The Udmurts had high odds of hemoglobin E disease with half of the samples carrying risk variants for it. They also had average odds of Alzheimer's, high predisposition to type 1 diabetes, and relatively average predisposition to multiple sclerosis by Eastern European standards, which would actually be very high by non-European standards. The Udmurts had very high odds of allergies, and surprisingly most samples carried the European lactase persistence mutation in LCT. Not a single sample carried any variants for hemochromatosis, otherwise known as the Celtic curse. Over half of the samples carried risk variants for colorblindness. Regarding biomarker predisposition, the Udmurts as a whole were predicted to have average vitamin D levels, higher levels of LDL cholesterol, which is typical for Europeans, and lower levels of HDL cholesterol, which is also typical for Europeans. You can purchase all their raw DNA files from link in the description, along with Andre DNA products and services, which are also linked in the description. Thank you for watching, goodbye.